Africa celebrates Daryl Nita and corporate Jamaica lifts up Alexis James. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at it and we break down the races. So, are you ready? Yeah, good to go. Well, corporate Jamaica meaning the NCB Foundation and Island Grill have come together, partnered to offer a massive four-year scholarship to Sprint Herder Sensation, formerly of Petersfield, the remarkable Alexis James. Both companies have come together to offer Alexis James a four-year scholarship to the Michael University college now this should make many of you happy because often you complain about the fact that some of our great young talents uh migrate to the u.s and other countries where you think they do not get the necessary or required treatment so it's good to see two of these massive uh corporations out of jamaica coming together to offer this young lady a scholarship i believe valued at five hundred thousand jamaican dollars per annum alexis james who is the current carifta 100 meter herders champion is pursuing a bachelor of education degree in physical education and sports at the michael university college the freshman will also be the first island grill ambassador we really love to hear these kinds of things about our junior athletes Alexis James, formerly of Petersfield, is now a professional athlete and she will also, as she pursues this degree, be training with the Racers Track Club. Really, really good look for this rising Jamaican athletic star. Dr. Talia Lynn, the founder of Island Grill and chairperson of the NCB Foundation, expressed her pride and excitement over sponsoring James academic journey she highlighted the significance of the occasion not only in empowering the remarkable young athlete but also in reinforcing reinforcing island grill's commitment to nurturing future leaders who will contribute significantly significantly to jamaica's betterment she really believes in you alexis and she's passionate um i've seen for myself today and i am really proud of your achievements and as I stated earlier, many of you who complain about our athletes going overseas should be very, very excited that Corporate Jamaica has stepped in to sponsor this remarkable young talent, Alexis James. And we look forward to helping you along in your journey. And I'm sure after this, I'm going to get another call from Madam Chair. <laughs> to put the size of the, this um, scholarship in context, its actual value is 500,000 Jamaican dollars annually. The scholarship will cover tuition and board and discussions will be held regarding nutrition uh, support. That's really, really good. Remember, Island Grill is a food uh, company, of course. of course. Young Alexis James was both eloquent and gracious in expressing her thanks for this combined um scholarship effort on the part of both the ncb foundation and island grill jamaica I'm genuinely impacted by your assistance and i will always be grateful daryl nita who is currently the second fastest uh british athlete over the 100 and 200 meters and the current 200 meter champion from the uh british national championships for the 2023 season who has had a heck of a season closing out her 2023 season with a season's best of 9.96 just outside her 9.90 personal best well she was lauded by the best of africa um celebrations Nita, who is both of African and Jamaican descent, uh, wrote on her social media pages, pages Best of Africa Awards, honored to, be, to attend the BOA Awards and receive an award for 2023 Outstanding Achievement in Sports. Thank you. 
Now I suspect Una know that Daryl Dita is one of our favorites here. We've been talking about her for quite some time. She's a rare talent. She's getting better and better each year. And I'm looking forward to see what she does for the 2024 season. Una know is off season now, right? Una know. You're doing it for a purpose bigger than yourself. Mm -hmm. um, it can only be a great thing, really. 100%. So, and if we can have that kind of ethos and energy mm -hmm. towards everything we do, mm -hmm. I think the world would be a much like. As I said, Daryl Nita closed out her 2023 20, season as the second fastest woman out of Great Britain and became the 200 meter British champion. She also closed out with a season's best of 10.96, as I said, in the 100 meters and in the 200 meters, 22.16. She's had a very, very good year as well as a few uh, wins on the Diamond League, even clipping her friend and compatriot, Dina Asher Smith, who we call Cousin Dina. Here she is in one of those races on the Diamond League circuit for the 2023 season that she won. The first 100 meters, but here comes Asher Smith in the shade, pulling away. Nita as well from lane seven. The two British athletes giving Tarlu a real run for the money, but it's Nita. Is Nita going to hold up for the win? Yes, she is. Into a... Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Of course, we are very proud of the fact that Darren Nito um, has been lauded by the Best of Africa Award for um, a, a outstanding accomplishment in sports for the 2023 season. The fact is, the last two seasons for Darren Nito has been extremely good. She has lowered her personal best. In 2022, she ran at 10.90, which is her people for the 100 meters this year. Her season's best, as I said, was 10.96, just outside of her personal best. Um, represented well throughout the entire season won a few diamond leagues became the 200 meter uh, national champion for great britain she's had an incredible year and she has a whole lot more left in that tank i think she's one of those um rising talents that we should take a look at plus as i said she out of her own mouth said she is of jamaican parentage as well as of african parentage so we as yardies have to celebrate daryl nita uh secondarily i am very very happy Happy to see NCB Foundation and Island Grill um, standing up for young Alexis James out of uh, Peters Field. Incredible young talent. Remember, she did win that silver medal behind Karika Hill last year in 2022, where over the three day, uh, this is in the World Under 20 Championships. Remember, in that three days, she lowered her PB uh, from the heats into the semis into the finals. Uh, she was the only person who could have actually. Um, been a threat to Karika Hill. She had a great season, uh, had some injury issues if my memory serves me correctly. So now she's pro, she's working with Racers Track Club, you know, the incredible um, Glenn Mills, looking forward to see what happens in that situation. And she has a four-year scholarship courtesy of, um, well, she's a freshman at the Michael University and she's pursuing uh, sports and sports medicine. So really, really excited to see that um, athlete who's clearly doing well academically because you know she wouldn't have just got in if she didn't do well academically as well as a great athlete young lady striving and to see the jamaican company stepping up supporting her so she doesn't have to go overseas to the longhorn texas longhorns and one of these other universities i'm very very super happy about it and i'm hoping to see more of our um jamaican large corporation step in on the behalf of these youngsters it's a good look but this, of course, is my two cents. Now, don't forget this subscribe button, hit notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings, and queens. Bless up.